Here is a really quick video of Barracuda Cloud to Cloud Backup in action. When I log into Barracuda Cloud to Cloud Backup, it has our four services here that we're backing up. So OneDrive, Exchange Online, SharePoint and Teams. It will have the last backup date there. And if we click on that, it will jump us to this report section. It will tell us um, when the last backup run, how many um, items are backed up, the size and all that useful information. Now, if you have an error like a failure, 99% um, of the time it will just rerun and get it on the next backup. If there are multiple failures, that's when you will log a support case with Barracuda support. However, that is a very rare occurrence. Now, if we go to this menu up here, protect, and let's look at Exchange Online. And what we are going to do, we let's find my mailbox. So kevin at alltasks.com.au. So we can do that just by browsing through all the emails here. We can actually do a search at the top. The search does take about 30 seconds, so I won't do that now. You just have to trust me that it works. So let's go um, Kevin at all tasks. Um, we can select that. We can go export. And that will do an export of the mailbox and we'll jump up, we'll let that load and jump back to that in a second. Or we can select a whole mailbox and we can go restore. And we can uh, set it to overwrite the original location or another location. So you can actually restore a whole mailbox to uh, another new mailbox that you created or another user. So that's how you restore a whole mailbox. If we wanna go more granular, if we click on my name there, it's gonna load up a list of all of my folders and subfolders. So let's jump into the inbox. And let's try and recover an email from my inbox here. So it's just gonna start loading all the emails there. Let's try and restore this one. So we will click on it. And again, the same option so we can export it. And again, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. I'll show you on the um, export screen so we can see what that looks like or we can select an individual email and restore it back to its original location or another location. So that's two ways of doing a restore, either the whole mailbox or you can go as granular as actually restoring an individual item from a mailbox. Now, so that's from the latest snapshot of my mailbox. If we wanted to do the exact same thing, but from a couple of days ago, we would just select the um, calendar up here and we select the date. So we want to go back to Friday the 22nd. And what it's going to do, it's going to um, give us all the backup snapshots of um, Friday the 22nd and whatever the last backup was then. Now, if we wanted to search for an item within a, in, uh, with inside a mailbox, we can do that here. And um, let's say we want to do search for Barracuda. We can do that. Um, if we want to that's gonna bring back a lot of results. So if we wanna start filtering, we can press the filter button here. We can search inside someone's mailbox or who it is from and to, um, any type, whether it's a calendar, email, all that kind of stuff. Again, I won't do that now because it does take a couple of minutes to go through because as you can imagine, there's um, terabytes worth of data that we've backed up over the years throughout all of our mailboxes, but it's usually done within a few minutes. Now, if we come back to the dashboard here, let's look at some of those um, restores or the exports that I was trying to do. So here we go. Um, here's the individual um, email that I have exported. So I press download. It um, opens up that email there. So I can do what I like with that. Maybe drag and drop it into a mailbox or just view it. And that whole mailbox, um, export is still running because yeah, it takes some time but um, I do believe it just downloads it in a PST format and you could do what you want with that PST file so you can bring it into a, a mailbox manually or you can just open it up in Outlook and have a look. Now let's have a look at one my OneDrive. So if I go to protect and then OneDrive, it's very much the same deal. It has all of our accounts that are being backed up here or have backed up in the past. We come down and find Kevin. Here's everything from my OneDrive. And it's a, um, it's a very similar deal where I can select that and I can export that document or I can restore it back to its original location or to a 
uh, somebody else's OneDrive. And again, if we don't want the snapshot for today, so 25th of July, we click on the calendar and we hop back and see a snapshot of the day that we want. Now let's cover share off SharePoint and Teams. So SharePoint, the sites under here are um, normal SharePoint sites. So communication sites, uh, and forgive me, I forget the name of the other one, but not uh, basically not sites that are created through a team in Microsoft Teams. So again, we can go really granular here. We can restore a whole site or we can just uh, restore an individual item from a SharePoint site. And that familiar experience is there with a the calendar and the search. So we can start searching um, sites and dates and all that kind of stuff to find exactly what we want. And if we go protect and then teams, let's just cover off teams real quick. These are all the teams that we have in Microsoft Teams. And behind here lives um, some of the files. So these would live in a team site created by Microsoft Teams or a group site. And again, you can go to a very granular level and just um, restore an individual file. Now, if we come up to settings here, here's where you can customize your settings. You manage your user access. You can do um, email notifications for backup failures. And this last checkbox down here is to give Barracuda support um, permissions to your Cloud to Cloud backup if you want to allow them to log in to help you with a support issue. Now, that's a real quick overview. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out. Thank you.